When you want to add notes or call attention to certain information in a chart, you can add text annotations and graphics. In this lesson, we'll add a text box to a chart and add and format a shape. Here's the chart we've been working on. Here in the Germany expenses, one thing you'll actually notice is the sharp decrease in quarter two. We would actually call attention to that by using an annotation. So we're going to add a text annotation and an arrow that points out this information. An annotation is simply a label that further describes or clarifies your data. When we're finished, it will actually pop on the screen for us. With the chart still, still selected, and I know it's selected because I see my handles, and I'm going to go to the chart tools and choose the layout tab. In the layout tab, I'm actually going to click on the text box option. With this tool selected, I'm going to move my mouse pointer to the right of the actual chart. And what you'll notice is down in the status bar, it reads click and drag to insert a text box. And my pointer actually changes to indicate that we can simply click somewhere to begin typing. I'll click somewhere to the side of the chart. What you notice when I click over here, the chart is actually deselected. So, and it actually inserts a text box with a blinking insertion point and sizing handles around the box. You can also click inside the chart to create a text box, but it's easier to see what we're doing if we work over here. Before we start typing, I want you to notice that the chart is no longer selected. That's because the text box is now the selected object instead of the chart being the selected object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type my annotation. My annotation is going to say great improvement. Make sure you spell it correctly. Now we can move this text box to the chart. So let's do that. I'm going to actually click on the outside edge of the text box so I get the four-headed arrow. This means I can drag the text box and drop it to wherever I want. I'm going to drag it onto the chart just to the left of the chart title. I drag and I drop. I'm going to click the chart to select it and with the contextual chart tools tab up here I'm going to click on the chart tools layout tab here in the insert group, I'm going to click on shapes button and down in the lines category, I'll click the arrow shape right here. Then I'm going to move my cell, the pointer over the chart. And what you notice, the mouse pointer turned into a four headed crosshair type um, arrow. And what I'll do is I'm going to click and drag to insert an auto shape, which you can see down at the very bottom in the status bar it actually says that and when I point near the text box that I created earlier that reads great improvements you'll notice that red anchor points appear in the text box we'll use these to position the arrow I'm gonna click the right anchor point and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag the whole way down to what I want to actually point out. Quarter two column for Germany. And I'm going to drop, let go of my mouse pointer, and what you'll notice is that I now have an arrow that actually indicates what I'm pointing at. I can format this arrow and other shapes just like any other graphic object. Notice there's a shape styles group on the drawing tools which actually shows up right now. So when I go up to the shape styles on the drawing tools on its format tab, I can actually change what this actually looks like. So what I'm going to do in the shape styles group, I'll click the shape outline list arrow in the shape styles and I'm going to click the automatic color, changes the color to black I'm also, while I'm in here, I'm going to change my weight and I'm going to change it to one and a half point, makes my weight thicker and that allows me to format my chart and add an annotation. I'm going to save and if I want to look at some additional tips and learn how to add pre-designed diagrams called SmartArt to a worksheet, check out my textbook.